Hey everybody, it is your director, Patty Wonder, um, your director of Team Wonder Bar, and um, welcome to the January Team Talk. Tonight we're going to be talking about Transition Month, since we are in it, and i um, so excited if you're here. If you're watching the replay, please put After Party in the comments. It always, it's nice to know who watches it and who gets the information that they need. Um, but I'll just wait for a minute for people to find me and hop on because I know everybody's on vacation mode. So, please say hello. Maybe this week I'll be able to see it. I've just been watching Queer Eye and crying and crying and crying. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Janice. Um, George the cat is here. See that moving? That's George. George lives down the road, but has, there he is. George, George, what are you doing? Ah, you might see him come around. Hey, Tina. <laughs> He's doing the, with my Scentsy blanket, the new one. And there are, I'm surprised there's not any on me right now, there is purple fluff everywhere on that side of the couch. On the floor, on the couch, everywhere. That, from him going like this every day. So, he comes in to eat and then he hightails his butt out of here. So, you can see him making the bread, making the bread. Anyway, all right, it is 8.32. Now, tonight's training is probably going to be a little boring. Um, if you've been through like 50 transition, transitions like I have, it feels like 50. I don't think it's been 50. I think it's been obviously 12 or 13 now. So, but it feels like 50. I keep waiting for him to like show, peek through the middle there, but anyway so what i did was there he is isn't he beautiful he's so beautiful now he's on youtube <laughs> he's on facebook ahoy hoy hey george george is laying down now okay he's not as vocal as shanti but he does talk so i've actually printed stuff out from workstation but i've taken some notes as well just because I want to go over everything just in case people have forgotten, um, people have kind of gotten out of the habit. Um, there's a couple things I want to talk about at the end that are kind of important for this year. And um, I just want to give you as many tips and tricks to help you be successful. And um, so, yeah. So, as a reminder, my director, my job, hi Rachel, my job as a director is to guide and coach. Um, it's to show you things, hopefully, but really the main thing is to guide and coach. And if you tell me you want more from this, it is to help you stay accountable, push you probably further than you push yourselves. Because really, let's face it, when we have a goal whether it's health related or business related, if nobody holds us accountable, we can really like procrastinate and put stuff off. And we can make an excuse and a reason for everything. Oh no, it was just this and it was just that. But if we really wanted something, we'll find a way. So I can't motivate you, I can inspire you and hopefully you can motivate yourself. Um, but motivation doesn't last, but hard work, determination, and consistency does. And so um, I, there was a post I saw the other day that I put up, and it's literally just showing up and doing the discipline even when you don't feel like it. And that's what I want you to bring into 2022. Doesn't mean you need to have burnout. Doesn't mean you have to do gargantuan things. It just means picking something that's important to you that you'd like to see grow this year in your business and nutting it out and figuring out how to do that. <laughs> Rachel, I think I'm talking about a lot of people. So, um, 
So that's kind of where I'm coming from. You don't have to do everything, but you have to do something. And if you can do something every single day, no matter how big or small, just keep doing the little things, you know. I was laughing because um, in one of my pet sitting gigs, she said, can you please water my garden and my plants so they don't die while we're gone? And I'm like, uh, I don't want to be responsible for that. Uh, that is not my, <laughs> that's, that's not, I do fur. I, I don't I don't do green stuff <laughs> and she's like me either so don't be afraid if it if it dies <laughs> I probably started killing it I'm like okay so but that that is exactly the whole point of this some people think it's just gonna be easy and you're gonna start sensi and everybody's gonna run to you and buy everything and every single person you know is gonna support you and it's just gonna be amazing and easy and you're gonna post one thing and you're gonna start a business page and oh my god everybody's gonna love you no people want to see you succeed people want to see you be consistent consistency and routine builds trust and it also creates comfort for yourself I know every single day because I started using the 90 day slay I don't know how many years ago I really was and still am I know exactly what I have to do to get my business to move forward now whether I do those things or not is a whole nother thing but I know if I do the, the three things that, or the five things that I have on the five by five, but there's three important things in there. If I do those four days or five days of the week, business just goes boop, 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 boop. So I've seen it. So just like when you're trying to get healthy and you're like, oh, need to eat some more vegetables, I need to eat some more vegetables. So you have a salad one day and then the next day, you're like, yeah, I'll have a salad. And then you don't have another salad or more vegetables for another six months. Different goals or same goal, but now not the same consistency in building that routine. It's like brushing your teeth. Your teeth are going to fall out if you don't brush your teeth. You know, everything has a consequence for the choice that you make. So I'm going to stop talking about, you know, but I just kind of want you to, if you saw my post the other day about our, our sales um, for the year, it really was heartfelt. I know that everybody's exhausted. I am exhausted. I am exhausted. I still haven't had time off, um, which is why I was watching Queer Eye before this. <laughs> I've, I have been, I haven't had a day to myself since before Christmas before Christmas. Let's just say before Christmas. So Thursday, I get a day to myself. I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to do anything. Um, and I'm so looking forward to it. But it drains me because I'm an introvert. It drains me. Even if I love all the pets, I'm pet sitting. I am just stacked with responsibility and I have to be here and I have to drive there and I have to go here at this time and I have to be there at that time. And my, I don't, I don't operate well that way for too long. So, um, I will crash at the end of this week <laughs> and crash hard, but I also have a plan of what I'm going to do once I'm done resting for a couple days. Um, and I'm still showing up every single day for my business because it's still my job. Like, and, and I know it's not your, everybody's job. Like, you guys have other jobs or you, you know, you have other things that you need to do, but this is, this is my full-time income. This is how I freaking feed George. Um, back to buying cat stuff. <laughs> anyway, hopefully George will go back to his people next week and then we'll see how long it lasts again. Um, so yes, Kathy, you are gonna, with all the training that's out there, I have a folder on my computer and I have a, um, a folder inside Facebook where I can save things. And I have things that, that say for customers, for team ideas, for leadership, um, for crafting, for vegan food recipes. I ha I've created folders because when you see something, you're like, man, that's a great idea. 
And sometimes you write it down, but then you never look at it again. So what I do is when I'm in the mode of, I'd like to incorporate something new. This year I'm gonna do this. Let me find one thing I really wanna incorporate, focus on, be intentional about, and really give it my all this year about. And I go through that list and I go through the, like, I really want to make a, a dessert and I really want it to be kind of like this. I go through all my recipes going, mm, that one looked good. So that's how I, because you can't do everything. Financially, you can't do everything. Mentally, you can't do everything. Emotionally, you can't do everything. And just professionally, you can't. Because if you are spreading yourself so thin, something is going to, it's like people that have like, eight direct sales businesses. Nothing is going to be successful because they're spreading it so thin that you think sometimes your customers are tapped out from, <laughs> from all the sales we had and all the LTOs. Well, imagine that and then like five other direct sales people, uh, things that you're pumping out at people as well. So focus on something. One thing, this past 2021, my focus was Scentsy Club and Happy Mail because they kind of went together for me. Um, but that was, that was my intention. That was my focus. So that's what I really, how can I add that to this? How can I put this in an order? How can I mention that in here? So that's what I want. Like when we have our Zoom coming up for intentions, I want you to kind of just really think about that. What's just one thing that you really want to work at this year? Is it just having more customers? Is it get in front of people? Um, and I'll talk more about this one on that on that day. But um, but think about what you want. And then sometimes if you share it with us, which is the whole point of that night, I can go. Okay, well that one and that one could go together really well, and you could actually do that. It's the same thing with with different and more. Um, results in a broader way or oh no okay you have to probably pick between that one or that one for this year once you get good at it and becomes automatic and you're like got it I'm good at it I can talk about Sensi Club now till the cows, cows come home I couldn't last year but I just kept practicing and practicing and I kept putting things out and I kept watching training videos and I kept looking at how things worked and I kind of thought, oh, how's a different way I can word this? How can I say this in a patty way? Because my customers speak patty right now, you know? So, um, yes, very good. Okay. So there's my little happy new year. <sighs> Breathe know that we are all in the same boat. We have all went through horrible. And when I say all of us, I don't know a single one of you, including myself, that did not go through something really, really hard. Really, really hard during the holidays or this year or, and most of it was emotional and mental um, stuff. So, don't think you're alone, but also rest when you need to, but don't quit. Keep showing up because all of a sudden, when you keep showing up, something happens and all of a sudden you're like, you get this jolt of something in your heart and you're like, oh. and that's kind of what Sensi does for me. So, all right. Um, discontinued list. So for those of you, um, I have posted, yes, group hug. <laughs> I have posted the discontinued list on in our team page, but it is also in workstation, but the PDF and the screenshot is in Team Wonder Bar. It's all pinned to the top for you to find easily. Um, but the one thing, where did it go? Oh, there. So when you run a discontinued list. For those of you that are brand new, yeah, if you're, let's just say this, if you've been in Sensi for more than six months or, or the last six months for sure, and you've done any business whatsoever, I'm trying to find a good way to say this. Anyway, I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> sorry. I know what I want to say, but I'm like, well, that wouldn't work either. So I'm coming up with all the solutions in my head. So 
when we print out the discontinued list, that tells us which things are being like said goodbye to at the end of this month. So what you want to do is you want to tell everybody, hey, these are leaving. If you want them, stock up. Or if it's wax bars that are leaving that you loved, make sure you put them in Scentsy Club. Because if you if you love this, what was, ah, uh, Cloudberry Dreams. Can I just say that was really bizarre that they're taking it away? They hit us with Cloudberry Dreams and freaking everything in the new, that catalog last, the last season, right? For spring, summer. And then they're going to take, <laughs> take it away. One of my customers was like, oh my God, I love that smell. And I'm like, well, guess, welcome to Scentsy Club. And she just laughed. And I'm like, I'm not kidding. <laughs> so she's like, all right. But Honestly, it, it is like that. Like, well, how much do you love it? There you go. You don't have to be without your wax bars. Um, the other stuff, sadly, you need to stock up on. But everything's 10, almost, almost everything's 10% off this month. Um, <laughs> yeah, right, Kathy? Um, so, um, so make sure you practice the Scentsy Club thing. This month, prime time to get people on Scentsy Club. Bring back my bar, send of the month, discontinued list, come on. Literally Scentsy Club on a platter if you choose to serve it, right? So when you go, here's the thing. If you have customers in your, the song will say, if you have customers in your customer base in workstation so if you sold stuff to anybody besides yourself um you will have a history yes yes they can tina and they should as fast as possible they have 30 days to put that in scentsy club um or if it sells out this month it's done they can't get it anymore after the 30 days if it stays and it's around a little bit longer than 30 days they can add it as long as it's still available, but you don't know from day to day if it's going to be available. So I always tell people within the 30 days, get it into club. They can always take it out later if they decide they don't like it. Um, I, if you watched any of my Scentsy Club video, I recommend doing that. Um, but they can take it out later. Some people just put the bars in and then they try them and they take out the ones that they don't like. So at least the ones that they did like are still stuck. They're still in Scentsy Club. All right. So back to the discontinue list. So the discontinued list, so I want you to write this down in case you've never ran a discontinued list report before. You go to workstation, you go to the reporting tab, then you go to this, um, then you click on view sales report. And these little boxes will come up and then you have two choices. Now, I'm going to say the easy way to do this is to click on promotions follow up and then in the right when that screen goes over there's something called discontinued products 2022 you can click that you click on where it says customers you click on that and tick all and then you go and I think it says all products on the end and then you click go and then you can export it and then It'll be like in Excel or for us, it's called numbers for us Mac users. Um, and then you can get rid of any of the columns that you don't want or don't like. So there's plenty that I get rid of because I don't really need them all. Um, like it'll have their first and last name in one column and then I'll have their first name in column and a last name in a column. So I get rid of those two columns and just leave the first full, full name. I take the phone number one and move it all the way over because I text everybody individually takes me a while. I have a lot of texting to do next week. A lot. So, um, and that's how you get your, you can see how many they ordered. So if somebody had ordered 12 Cloudberry Dreams in the next, in the last six months, you know, they're going to be Scentsy Club if they're not already. They need to put that in Scentsy Club because that 12 bars is a lot, which means they probably didn't order all those at one time. That meant they kept reordering it. So, um, so the other way, because I'm not exactly sure that that discontinued list is complete, 
based on what I saw, I don't think it is. I haven't played with it. I haven't ran my discontinued list yet. So here's the other thing. This is what I did for Bring Back My Bar, and I do it for Discontinued. You go to the um, Reporting tab. You click on View Sales Report. You click on Product History button, the little box that says Product History. And then you go in the first column and search for everything that you're looking for and just tick everything you want in the list. And you just keep typing and ticking, typing and ticking until you get everything in that you want. And then you export that and it'll come up in Excel or numbers. And um, you adjust the columns as you want them or need them. And I print them out to use. So just to give you an idea, so, this is my scent. Oh, this is my Scentsy Club. Bring back my bars. So the people that are that these are the people that have ordered the bars that are in Scentsy Club or that that are only available through Scentsy Club. So for instance, Oodles of Orange came back. I have a customer named Angela, and I'm like, Hey, did you see Oodles of Orange is back? She goes, I saw that. How do I get that? And I said, You have to join Scentsy Club. And she's like okay, how do I do that? <laughs> so I walked her through it. Um, she loves Oodles of Orange and she's been so ticked that it was gone. And there's another one on there too she likes. But the only way they can get it is if they're in Scentsy Club. So I'm going to contact all these people and say, hey, I saw that you ordered the scent and you love the scent. I just wanted to let you know it's come back. It's exclusive to Scentsy Club. So if you want it again, here's the link to sign up for Scentsy Club. Okay. So that's my printout of all my customers. I don't know how many pages that is. Oh, I don't know. This one is Team Wonder Bar, December 2021, because I want to text everybody. I can't remember how many pages this is. Uh, four, five pages, five pages for Scentsy Club Scents. And then this is Bring Back My Bar, for the normal 12 bars that are available to the public. So this is my report for those people that I need to contact and just let them know those bars are back and have them sign up for Scentsy Club if they want them. And this is five pages long. So that's how you do that. So, and so when I have the discontinue list, it'll look exactly the same. So what I wanted to do was actually do the discontinue list and then, um, like go through, it's going to take me a lot of focus, but go through and try to match up how many people want what or what they've ordered in the past and send one text instead of three texts. So that's the plan, man. So that's why I need some focus and I just need a little rest before I do that. Um, any questions on any of that? Sorry, it was very long winded, but let me just say, if you're not working your lists, you are shooting yourself in the foot. If you don't have lists yet, you just need to get out and get around and just make sure you're sharing with everybody. Because even if you're new, some of, for I, I'm just thinking right now of my teamy Sharon, most of her customers were my customers. So she won't have their details in her workstation, but she might want to tell them because they'll remember. So she'll want to make sure she gives them a copy of the discontinued list so they can identify their fragrances. If I'm going through my discontinued, uh, my list, and I know for a fact certain people are serving certain people now, I will tell them, hey, Sharon, just want to let you know, Melissa, um, she loves this scent and she's ordered this in the past and just let her know that it's come back or it's being discontinued or whatever. So I do try to do that as I'm texting all my customers. I will text any team member that I know might have that customer now. So um, no questions. Okay. So the next thing we're going to cover is business tools to help you transition to a new season. So transition month is twice a year. Um, right, it's the last month of the catalog. Almost everything is 10% off. And basically it's the time that, it's a great time to have parties because people are buying sales and they're stocking up on stuff before it goes. So it's a great time to do parties. Um, but then there's business tools. So our current stuff, what's really funny is I have no current stuff around me. Oh yeah. So 
all of our catalogs and current stuff like this is 50% off in the consultant store while supplies last. And they always run out at some point um, of this stuff. And um, I think the product lists sometimes run out as well. So, um, and if you're stuck because you're having a party and all of a sudden you can't get any more catalogs in time, usually if you ask in the team page, someone has some extras that they're not gonna use before the end of the month. So that's the other thing. The other thing I'm gonna say is don't throw these away if you have these left at the end of the month. Um, there is a sticker that I created on Canva like this and I put it on the front and I stick these on everything that says this one's old but here's what to do, contact me today and I'll show you what's new. And I put that on there and I just go different neighborhoods and throw them in letter boxes because I don't care because um, we can do that here in New Zealand just for anybody watching out there. Um, and I take them to doctor's offices and fish and chip shops and all those things because you don't have to throw them away. You might as well use them. It gives people an idea and you never know, you know. So, um, so don't throw them away, but utilize them and still use them. Same thing with if you have anybody that joins this month, they get a, a supersized kit. So when someone joins this month, they, they get the current stuff but they also get the new stuff as well so that their transition into the new, they don't have to buy anything extra. So it is a great deal to get someone to join this month because they get a bigger kit and they might look at this and go, well, why well, don't want old catalogs? And you'd be like, yeah, but they're really nice because you shouldn't just be handing out catalogs willy nilly. But if you got old ones around, you can't. So it's a great way to get your name out. You can put even something bigger on there like, hey, I'm, it, hello neighbor and introduce yourself and whatever you want to do on that so um so don't think because the old catalogs are leaving that you have to throw them away so that's another transition tip okay so the sensi autumn winter so we're talking new zealand australia in this video for anybody watching um sensi autumn winter 2022 catalog they're 10 percent off right now through january they come with packs of 25 so just like normal your packs of catalogs um you can have you can see the digital catalog now on workstation i also put that in team wonder bar for you because i know sometimes it's a pain in the butt to find i was trying to locate my mom's the other day on the american one because i always do it for her and then um i make her a calamio flip book so that she can have it and look at easy for her so i did that but it took me Took me a long time with all those filters and stuff it was not just coming up really easily so um so everything's up there that you need i've done it for you so all you have to do is use it so you don't want to share everything right now with your customers you want to focus on the current catalog the sale that's happening bring back my bar scent of the month warmer of the quarter and there's a whole bunch of other things that are coming along this month as well so focus on those the the new catalog and the new items i usually worry about the last couple like three days of the month i do a last chance first glance online the last one i did with peter um and i show people what's leaving usually by that point i've got my new testers and i do first sniffs and um, some people do it in their house um, and they have an open house and you basically take orders for what's leaving and then you take pre-orders for what's coming so that you can place an order on the first um, you're also probably saving up host credit in one of your parties, your open parties on your PWS that you have going for, I've had mine probably two months now. So by the time February 1st runs around, I can order a bunch of the new products and not have to pay for them, to be honest. So, all right. Then we have the autumn winter transition fragrance tester sets. So of course, when you order the transition tester set, it has all the new scents on it and any of the returning ones. Um, and then when they come in, you go look in your catalog um, and you go through your catalog and you, let's see, and you go through the list and then you pull out anything that's on the discontinued list and then you put the new things, the new testers in your kit. Um, if you have bag parties, so this is one of my bag parties. So what I do is I order a couple extra sets of the transition sets and then, oh yeah, 
little testers I made of the holiday fragrances. Um, you know, you, you switch them out of here. So um, these have the testers in them. But that way they're all ready to go as well because some people, I have a lot of good customers. They don't really care about the party. They just want to order wax and smell the new stuff. And that's a perfect way to do that. Um, hi, George. George makes his debut. Hello. If he's around, I can pick him up later. He's really good at cuddling too. Um, so don't forget to order extra sets of transition testers if you have um, if you have goodie like um, on the go parties or bag parties or whatever you want to call them, basket parties. Um, you can order the complete fragrance testers if you need a new set of testers, but Otherwise, most people just order transitions. Um, the autumn winter 2022 product lists. So if you don't have, if you're not sure what a product list is, again, I'll be giving these out like crazy this month because I have two packs of them and there's 50 sheets, 50 sheets to a pack. So there's 50 sheets to these and there's 25 to a catalog. So one pack of ca uh Either two packs of catalogs and one pack of these, or this will last you a little while. Um, I give those out freely because they're very inexpensive. Um, and they go into all my happy mail as well. <clears throat> um, the 2022 product training guide. This is one of those things that, where did I put it? I don't think people order enough, but they should. It's very cheap. I think it's like, five bucks or seven bucks or something like that this is the one for the current catalog so this is a product training guide and especially if you're new i always recommend and if you haven't bought a new consultant guide in a while i always like to buy the new consultant guide because things change pictures get better things get updated it's good for you to know when you're building a team and it's good if you're new to understand because a lot of times people are like where did you find out about the prizes i'm like they're in your consultant guide well if they got the smaller kit or they got the cheap kit back when we had those they didn't get that they need the pdf but i prefer the hard copy i used to sleep with mine when i started but the reason why i like these is because i put these with my bag parties as well um, because it explains the products it explains how they work it explains the features and the benefits so they are informed about the product and i don't have to be there to do it Yes, it's written for consultants, but it's a really good tool to put with your bag parties. Um, and sometimes when you don't know about the product, because maybe you haven't tried them yet or bought one yet or seen one yet, this is how you figure out what you're going to write in your Facebook post when you are trying to advertise and market. This is exactly where I take most of my stuff from or I take it off of my PWS. Ooh. All right. Um, so these are really really handy so i highly um i highly recommend those as well um okay so new transition business tools kit honestly this is we've been asking for this for a long 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 time um we used to get it at world tour because we used to have in a different month we had it in february back in the day with transition has gone back a month so um so now you can get it um but they have included everything all in one so you just have to place the one thing and it has everything you need of course if you need extra transition textures i always order four packs of catalogs um i always order new host join brochures I always order new order forms because I try to order probably new order forms every month or every second month. Um, so, and different product sheets because I put them in all my happy mail and I use them at parties and I use them in host kits and join kits and things like that. So, um, so yeah. Um, but the Transition Business Tools Kit, it's $115.50 New Zealand dollars or $103 Australian dollars, but it has everything you need in transition. Um, and remember, this is all a tax write-off because this is business tools. So you get a pack of 25 catalogs, you get a pack of product lists, of, there's 50 in there, 
you get all the new releases sticker pack. So if you haven't got the stickers before, if you've gotten Happy Mail from me, you have gotten stickers. Um, but our stickers come like this and they're scratch and sniff. Um, there's 72 stickers per pack and you are getting every single, so there's 10 new cents. You are getting all 10 cents, 72 of each of them. And so why would you want them? Because some of you might not know this. So normally, um, you'd order the wax and then you can make samples with felt or whatever. But we're not going to have a chance to order the new samples unless you order lots of transition kits to make samples in a wax form this year. Let's just say this year. So this is what this form, so this is why Sensi made us this. This is, I need to change my ink, but just to give you an idea, um, it's teal in the, in the team page. So you print this out and these stickers fit perfectly in that spot. So then what you do, you put all the stickers on and you can mail these to people in, in a happy mail with a catalog. Or you can take and you can put the stickers in the catalog, which a lot of people do that too. So you can put certain stickers certain places or you could cut them even into, I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying you could cut them if you really wanted to. Um, if you don't need that many, you might wanna go in with a friend and split a pack or something like that as well. But you can buy all these things separately as well. But the sticker pack with all the scents in it, it's a great way, it's way easier, it's flatter, so it mails better than samples do. Um, and it's, your kids could even help you with it or your hubby, you know? It's easy enough. A monkey can do it. Um, you get a transition tester set and you get a um, product training guide. So you get all those things I just mentioned in one kit. So I, for instance, ordered one of those and then I ordered extra product training guides for my bag parties, extra transition set for my bag parties, um, and three packs of extra catalogs and I think one or two packs of extra um, product lists. So I know twice a year I'm gonna spend some money and, I, I'm, and I'm ready for it because I know it's coming. So that's kind of how I do transition, just to give you an idea. Um, discontinued products, promotional flyer, we already talked about that and running the report. Spring and summer 2021, print materials are 50% off while supplies last. Um, Spring and summer complete fragrance testers and transition testers are unavailable starting on the first. Um, new season sales kits, approximately they're thinking the 10th of January. They were supposed to be available at the beginning of January, but because of logistics and shipping and all the things happening around the world, they're not ready yet, which is exactly why, because I have things ordered, but they're taking forever to get here. So that's why the stickers are gonna get here before the wax is gonna get here, unless you're gonna order a whole bunch of transition tester sets and make samples from those. That's the only other thing I'm thinking. The other thing I wanted to quickly talk about is, if you decide not to use the stickers, um, if you haven't seen this, these are what Scentsy Wax felt stickers, felt samples look like. They're very thick, they're high quality, but they fit exactly in that in that spot as well um but again they're thick they take they do use wax i'm not gonna lie i mean you get more samples than you do from and you can put these in your warmer so tell your customers put them in your warmer because it's an idea that they can warm the scent and get an idea if they like that smell you don't have to give them whole cubes and stuff you need to make some money not keep spending money so be be frugal with samples but also be generous in different ways, do you know what I'm saying? So the first year I didn't have these um, when we started doing this with Happy Mail during COVID. So I had ordered these and these come in a bag of a thousand. Um, so, but they didn't get here in time. I ordered these from eBay Australia. So these are just little dots and you could get a shit ton of samples from these. So 
but if you look up felt samples on eBay or Etsy or whatever, there's tons. But these didn't come in time, so I went to the cheap shop and I bought sh little sheets of felt. I bought as many white as I could find, and then I had black and this color. So I just came home and I cut them all into rectangles with a scissors, and I used those. So again, do what you can with what you have when you can. And if you have teamies, why not have one person buy the felt, to have one person buy stickers, have one person, and you guys like split the costs and do it that way. I mean, that's an easy way to do it as well, um, especially if you don't have a huge customer base and um, or a lot of money. So um, from the 1st and 31st of January, new consultant starter kits will primarily include autumn winter materials, including autumn winter 2022 transition fragrance tester sets and autumn winter 2022 catalogs. These kits will also include spring summer 2021 fragrance testers and catalogs while supplies last. So new consultants can start their business right away and still be ready for the next season. Please note. Oh, George has a hairball. Starting the 1st of January, all discontinuing products will be marked <laughs> as discontinued in Scentsy Club subscriptions and all spring summer catalog products will only be available while supplies last. Oh, poor thing. So I know that sound because I've had long haired cats. Um, so the other thing I want to say about that is when they go to, when they have, when they say that on Scentsy Club, sometimes they make, sometimes they make a um, mistake. So just be prepared. Don't lose your shit or go all ballistic. Um, should I check on him? Are you all right? Did you get it? Are you good? Nope. Not quite good yet. But he's breathing and he's just like... <coughs> okay. Um, in case you haven't seen the sales kits... We have the home season, the, the home new season sales kit coming, um, and you do get PRV on all this, so you get one, two, three, three warmers and three mini warmers. The new season sales kit, which is what I would normally have gotten, it has all the bars in it. Um, the laundry new sales season sales kit, um, you get the crystal water, coral waters, liquid and whiffs, and the magnolia linen liquid and whiffs. Again, great way to make samples. That's all I think when I see these as samples. This is all a, a tax deduction for me. I don't go, oh, I want that. I don't do that. I just don't. Freaking George back behind me. Haven't heard him do that. He's been here a little while. Um, the clean new season sales kits. You get bathroom cleaner, counter clean, and dish soap and coastal sunset. Body new season sales kit and make a splash. You get body wash, hand cream, a scentsy soak. The pets, cherry blossom and mango. Um, pet shampoo, deodorizing spray and detangling spray. So the new season sale kits are available until the 31st of January or while supplies last. last. And you, there's a limit one per consultant. Um, a new season sales kit contributes to the whole space amount in a party and your earned PRV, money pay commission, um, for your purchase, but a kit may not be purchased using host rewards. Kits are available through workstation. And so what most of us that do our business like pretty like seriously, um, most of us looked at this and said, well, because I've been saving up post credit, I can get all these things for free, just not in a kit form. So for me, I might not get the laundry liquid, but I might get, I'll get the whiffs kind of idea so I can make a bunch of samples to send out to people as well, right? And put in orders and things. Um, in case you haven't seen, they're increasing the price of the mini warmers and the wall fan diffusers by $9. Um, so uh, you should be aware of that. Um, due to higher manufacturing, labor, and transit costs, because that was bound to happen. Um, that's just the world that we live in right now at the moment. So, 
Um, so just to recap, does anybody have questions about anything I said? Does anybody have any questions about what I said so far? Um, I'm going to be starting to do something that uh, you may have heard me say when I did the planner video. Um, Katie Farner did something called Stick Your Nose in My Business. And it was really enlightening for me when I was building my business. Because basically every week um, she recapped what she did in her business that week. Some days she didn't do anything, and then some days she did things. I was like, oh, I never thought of that. So I'm going to start doing that, mostly for you guys, but I am going to put it on, on Facebook as well um, for lots of different reasons. But I just wanted – I've learned through the process in the last couple of years that nobody needs all the bells and whistles. You just need the basics. And sometimes we forget because we watch so many things and we want to do all the things that we're not doing the basics. So if you're not doing the basics yet, don't be, it's like frosting a cake before it's cooled. It just turns to shit. It's still tasty, but it turns to shit and you're like all stressed out. And yeah, it's a pile of gush. So that's kind of the same thing. So I kind of, I keep it pretty basic, but like I said, every year I have something I'm going to be intentional about. So, um, and this year, again, I'm still working on Scentsy Club. I'm still working at doing that better. Um, but team building is going to be a big thing this year. He's fine. Thanks, Vicki. Um, because this is what I wanted to talk to you about. So for those of you who don't know me really, really well, most of you, I think, have been around a while. <laughs> um, this is the year I'm moving home. Uh, so I'm headed back to America. Uh, my plan is to move back in October-ish time. And um, September, October, somewhere in there. Uh, mostly so I can hit the ground running during the busiest shopping season of the year and also enter my favorite time of year in America and my favorite holiday is Halloween. So this year, and, and a lot of my customers thought I was moving back a couple years ago, but then we found out that we, I couldn't because Shanti was on the no fly list because of her breed. So I stayed for my cat and then my cat passed away in November. So, um, so now it's time. And this is really funny because when George showed up, my mom was like, no, because <laughs> my mom really wants me home and I'd like to spend some time with my mom before I can't. Sounds like somebody's doing something weird outside. I don't know what's happening. George is looking out the window too going, what's that? Sorry. Um, and so this, for the next eight months, I'll really focus on, a lot of my customers already know, um, but one of the things that I found out two years ago when talking with Sensi about moving home was, one, I keep my team. So you guys are still my guys. You're still my family. You're still Team Wonder Bar. Nothing's changing as far as you're concerned. My customer base, however, because we can only sell within our region, so I can sell here to Australia, New Zealand. When I go to America, I can sell to America, Canada, and Mexico. So um, normally what would happen is your... Um, your customers would roll up to your upline, but my upline is also in America. So that can't happen. And so they're allowing me or how they work this, I should say, not just allowing me. Um, I have to pick a team member to have my Sensi Club people roll up to into, and I can pick my frontline consultant that I want that to happen to. It has to be a personal team member of mine. Um, and then I have a way that I've figured this out because some people are only going to be good with certain people. And I know that um, some people will just want logistically whoever's closest. 
Um, but I'm putting this out here because I think there's power in putting it out there. And I think there's power in letting your team know your vision and what you would like to see happen when, when it comes to the team and the growth and, and how this works. Um, on another note, I might be awake during when all of you guys are awake. So look at that. <laughs> Cause you know me, I'm always up when you guys are going to bed. Um, so now I might be on the time, same time difference, same time frame as you. Uh, I'll be, I'll be a morning person to you guys and it'll be a lie, but I'll be a morning person to you guys. Um, so here's, here's what I would really love to see. I would really love to have a director in the South Island from Team Wonder Bar. There's a couple of you that have amazing potential. Well, you all have potential, but you have, there's a couple of you that are, have done and shown consistency in your numbers. You're building your teams. You're sharing Sensi. Um, you have a good heart. I would really love to see somebody down here. We have, we are loaded in the North Island with Janice and Janice's downline, Serena and things like that. And I believe Zara, Zara's coming up on that as well. And I think Tina's right behind her. And so we have, we have people North Island good. I'd really like someone in the South Island. So, and that would be great to have by September. If you could, if somebody wants to do that, I did it in seven months from zero. So, so most of you are way ahead of the game on that. So I know it's possible. The second thing I'm going to be looking for with my personal team members, especially is I am not giving my customers, if they find people on their own, that's great, but I'm not going to be referring people to people that aren't consistent and aren't placing orders consistently. Um, my customers are used to me playing custom, like consistent orders. Um, pretty much Kathy, pretty much. And I, look, I've been a director as long as I've been in Sensi, pretty much. So, um, come on. <laughs> um, but I want people that are consistent. I want people that have good customer service. And I want people that are going to honor the happy mail thing. Because let me tell you, it makes a great big deal. Doesn't mean it has to be grand or I don't do anything extravagant. But I make sure that if they place order on my website, because I've been training my customers the last year to order on my website and join Sensi Club. That has been my intention. And so they are trained. You will walk, whoever I pick will have a automatic activity every single month. And they can't leave because they're always get my bar in there. And if they leave, they'll lose it. So it's a big trust issue. It's like letting somebody watch your kids. It's like letting someone pet sit your pets. It is, you know, it, it's big deal. And it's a huge gift. But I want to make sure it's respected and I want to make sure it's done right. And um, I need someone that engages, that knows what's happening, that is part of Team Wonder Bar to the core, and that doesn't have any plans on leaving anytime soon, but has a huge, like, is consistent every single month of showing up and doing the thing, even when it's hard. So I'm not expecting a me. Jacqueline hopes I get one at one point. But I am expecting somebody that will step up a little bit and will be my right hand in the South Island, more or less. So um, I have a couple of you. That is exactly right, Kathy. That is exactly right. It is my baby. I have worked really hard for over six years to create what I've created, to live solely on this income that is because of Sensi. Most of you of my team were customers and now are team members and family and and my follow-up I use Amy I do happy mail I you know like and the happy mail thing wasn't always but it makes people happy and it shows gratitude and acknowledgement that they didn't have to do business with me and they did it online so they're not gonna get the goodies that normally come in their orders when they have when they order at a party 
um, but it saves me from driving around. It saves me packaging materials. It saves me lots of things. So if all I have to do is send them happy mail once a month, that's the least I can do to be grateful for them. And I want someone with that mentality, if you will. So I am going to be watching. Um, there's a couple of you that I might contact um, about that, that I, I see in certain areas. Um, if you are interested in being considered, I know it feels like a job application, but it kind of is. Um, let me know because there's a lot we can do from now until August to get you up, up and at them and, and, and up to speed. Um, I had talked to Chloe about joining and I just roll everything to her because I know they'd still support her as well because she's Chloe, but I don't think she's ready yet. So, um, I have, I have my air conditioner actually pumping cold air and I have my air purifier <laughs> going. Um, so there's two things going. There's always something going in my, and I use a fan at night. So lots of electromagnetic current, which is why I use that warmer because it helps with that. <laughs> so does anybody have any questions? Pretty much done with training. Um, don't forget to map out your calendar, your booking calendar. This is what I use at parties. So um, make sure that you have one of these ready to go if you haven't already. I mean, you should already be already having January, February parties. Um, if not, get on that. Um, I think that's everything I had to talk to you guys about. Um, please use the sales tools on the workstation and please contact your customers it really just hook an ex this is what i do i hook an extension cord up hook my phone into it and sit on the couch and plan to sit there and just get through the list and some days i'm like okay today you're gonna get through three pages so i set myself a task and then i can go do something else <laughs> so um but get it done it's really important it's the only way you're going to build your scentsy club and it's the only way you're going to get these orders sometimes so um Thank you for dealing with George's hairball. There he is. George. George. Say hi. Hi, George. Is hi? No. All right. He comes every night for a couple, a couple of things. But if you have any questions, just put it in the comments and me or someone else will. Um, that's the other thing. I will be looking for somebody to be an admin, a co-admin, while when I move as well, that is up to date. And I, I know I've made a couple of you group experts and, and or invite you to do that and you, I think most of you have agreed um, because I trust you and the message and the positivity and your knowledge. So, so thank you for accepting that as well so i just wanted to let everybody kind of know what page we're on so this year's a very weird year for me so i'll be contacting movers and selling a lot of things uh that you might be interested in i, I will <laughs> i will be doing a um yumi who closet of um sales stuff or business stuff or stationary stuff that i'm not taking with me so um, but it's all happening this year. <laughs> yeah. So terrified, just to say the least, because I have to start over from scratch with customers. So I'm terrified, but so excited as well. So excited. So, and I'm, I'm, I know my mom is going to be just so happy. She had to have her heart tested recently and I was a little terrified on that one <sighs> to the point where she gave me all her passwords and how I could get into everything. And I'm like, I thought you said it was a no big deal. She goes, well, they might find something. I don't know. And our family, everybody has had open heart surgery before the age of 50, except for me and my mom. And my heart is great. Cause I don't, I don't eat the stuff that screws your heart. So I'm, my doctors are always like, stop being paranoid. <laughs> You're good. I'm like, okay. So, but anyway, so it'll be good to come home and um, hang out with my mom. So uh, if you guys have any questions or if you want to talk to me privately, please let me know. I hope to see a lot of you on the Zoom on the 20th. Yep. Um, and just get some, let dump everything from your brain and sensi onto a notebook page 
and get it out of your brain and just put it on paper and figure out where what you'd like to do um, this year in Sensi and your business. Okay. All right. Mwah. Good night, everybody. Have a great Wonder Wednesday. Bye.